Now, for the most part, the media instead just continued to banter over Tiger Woods. Uh, virally, the video has spread, but the deserved commentary has not. So my question is, what kind of a world does that mean that we live in? So here to discuss it with me, I have Christopher Chambers, journalism professor at Georgetown University and author of the blog, Nat Turner's Revenge. Uh, professor Chambers, thank you for being here. Be back. Uh, this video that was released yesterday, which uh, we covered extensively, this is no joke. This is a graphic video, a disturbing video. Yes. It shows uh, people being killed. Do you think that it got fair coverage across the board? No, I don't. I mean, I... One of my colleagues at Georgetown, Asra Nomani, put together the Daniel Pearl Project. As you know, she was a friend of Daniel Pearl's. It was in the movie um, about Daniel Pearl. Um, and she basically, her premise was any time a journalist is killed, truth is killed. And you would think there'd be more of a groundswell, even from the, the, the chairman of Reuters. It was a very muted statement. I have friends at the AP and other services that, that are, you know, are, are not running them, but are line reporters and are, are in the middle of this. And they're like, well, what is our life worth? We're out there trying to find the truth. So obviously the truth can be killed without any consequences. I'm happy you mentioned that because I actually have the statement from the editor-in-chief of Reuters. And he said that the video was graphic evidence of the dangers involved in war journalism and the tragedies that can result. That's it. I mean, you know, these uh, Reuters really did. Uh, they filed a Freedom of Information right. Act lawsuit afterwards to get this video when they were trying to investigate it. The truth finally comes out, and that's all they have to say. Don't they want to demand I, for some justice I, here? I am, I am appalled by the whole thing. I mean, if you, you have, again, whenever a reporter is killed in the line of duty, truth is killed. You have that angle. Why that has been either shellacked over or ignored, I mean, it's been in the Washington Post. It's been on the major American news stations, even Fox News, but it was just a, it was a, a brush off. And I think it's because people, they feel their audience can't relate to this. This is 2007, and they're basically saying Iraq, Iraq is over. You know, we don't want to deal with this. this these are the ghosts we don't want to dig up. And I think it, 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 it's troubling. It's troubling politically because it, 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 you bring the administration in that says it wants to change, but is continuing a certain course. So they don't necessarily want to dig it up and tag President Bush or tag Vice President Cheney or the present uh, Pentagon command structure with this kind of thing. It's on so many levels. They also don't want to anger the Pentagon. The Pentagon is trying to change its tune, trying to change the training of its soldiers in Afghanistan. And this would dig up a time when, you know, basically anything went in, in, in Afghanistan. You had soldiers calling the people their Hajis. Well, Haji was a character in a, in, a, in a U.S. adventure cartoon who was a Sikh, an Indian. So in other words, any brown small person was a Haji. They don't want to go back to that because they're trying to win hearts and minds in Afghanistan. So when you dig this up, it's, it's a problem for them. And that's why they go after organizations like, like uh, WikiLeaks, because they don't want that awful past brought up. Yeah, well, I mean, enough time passes and people do start loving to dig up all of that dirt. But, uh, you know, something that I find very interesting, too, is one of the clip that we showed from CNN. Like you said, uh, all of the major news outlets did cover this story, but they kind of just brushed over it and they said, well, this is what happens in war. None of them questioned the fact that the military actually covered up what was happening here. And it's not something that only happened in the past, because even if we look at the recent story of this NATO cover up in Afghanistan that right. happened just in February, it's something that's still happening every single day. Right. How can it not be questioned? I have no idea. It is, it is, and, and you know, I've been on the show many times and I have a lot to say. I'm speechless here. I am so appalled. I am speechless. There must be some, uh, Philosophy, and I again, I have friends in, in, in this business who people want to try to do business and get at the truth in the present climate in Afghanistan and other theaters of danger. So they don't really want to, they don't really want to rock the boat. But yet, two men are dead, and they were killed by 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 American uh, Apache pilots who had a very cavalier attitude about this. And that's another thing people don't want to, 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 to broach. Because again, in 2007, you had that, that mindset of, you know, these are Hajis and everybody's a hostile. And, and, and you, you coupled with that, the training on video games and computer games, it dehumanizes people. And they just look at them as targets to get points. 
basically, and it becomes the, 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 the targets are dehumanized. These are guys scrambling for their lives to carry. Yeah, a tripod can look like an RPG, but with the technology we have, a tripod is a tripod. If you can launch a missile through a window, a tripod is a tripod. And these guys are scrambling for their lives. So, I mean, they don't want to go back to that. They don't want to question that. And I, get, I think the major news services now and the networks just don't want to relate to this because it digs up too many things. It's too much of a distraction to what they think their audiences want to see, like Tiger Woods. Um, or they want to get into this new mindset of a new type of war under a different administration in Afghanistan. That is the only explanation that friends of mine have been able to feed me, because if there's anything else, I'd like to hear it. I mean, we're up at Georgetown. We did the, the Pearl Project. We want to hear about journalists getting killed. We want to know why. And there's no reason. Nobody's come forward. And it, it's just appalling. So I just, I have no clue. It definitely is appalling. And I think one of the things that I really wonder is, could a story like this encourage more people to become journalists, to go out there, to investigate and bring the truth? Or will it make them just give up and say, you know what, there's no point because people don't care about it anyway. They, they only want to watch Tiger Woods. Exactly. Uh, Professor Chambers, thank you so much thank for you. just following up on the WikiLeaks story yesterday and the lack of proper mainstream media coverage there.